In this personal video we will show you how to install a float switch. For those who don't know, float switch controls the water level, turns on the pump when the water tank is empty and turns off the pump when the water tank is full. When we have to use a pump to take water to a tank, the water tank will not stop filling until you turn off the pump manually and it can happen that the water overflows into the tank. To prevent the water tank from always overflowing, it is necessary to install a float switch to control the water level and in this way the float switch will turn off the pump power automatically when the water tank is full. Inside the water tank the float switch will work as follows. When the water tank is empty the float switch will be positioned down and the pump will be on filling the tank. When the water tank is full the counterweight will be down forcing the float switch to the up position and the pump will shut off automatically. To adjust the minimum water level in the tank, the amount of cable for the float switch must be defined, the more cable, the closer to the bottom the minimum level will be. To adjust the maximum level it is necessary that the cable is attached to the edge of the water tank and this maximum level adjustment is done just by changing the position of the counterweight without changing the amount of cable of the float switch. In order to use the float switch just to control the water level in the tank, we first have to know what the circuit connection will be like. In the float switch we have three wires, the brown, the black and the blue and in this case we will only use the blue and the black, the brown wire we will not use. So to wire the float switch on the pump, we first have to wire the circuit. In the miniature circuit breaker MCB we connect the phase conductor and the neutral conductor. We leave with the phase and neutral conductors of the MCB and connect the contactor on terminals 1 and 3, we leave with the phase and neutral on terminals 2 and 4 of the contactor to connect to the pump. Now let's make the power supply from the contactor coil to the float switch to control the pump power, turn the contactor off and on automatically. At terminal 1 of the contactor we exit with a conductor and connect it directly to A1 of the contactor coil. On the contactor terminal 3 and on the contactor A2, we leave with a conductor and connect it to the float switch, this way when the float switch closes the contacts it will feed the contactor coil and turn on the pump. We also carry a grounding conductor to connect to the pump. In the pump we connect the phase, neutral and earth conductors. The blue and purple conductors are connected to the float switch. Now, in the float switch, we connect the blue lead of A2 of the contactor to the blue lead of the float switch and the purple lead of terminal 3 of the contactor we connect to the black lead of the float switch. So guys, did you already know how to install a float switch or have you already done an installation? Comment below on the video and enjoy and leave your like because it helps us a lot, thanks for watching guys and until the next video.